Hello everybody, welcome back to the Trick Podcast of Joya Gosa TV on this beautiful Thursday, January 13th. You might be listening to this on Friday the 14th. Either way, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I'm talking today about how to validate yourself or self-validate. How to self-validate. As usual, I've been listening to a podcast. This is a new one by a therapist. I think her name is Michelle. Let's see here. I have it right here in front of me. Michelle Shalfant. And her podcast is called The Adult Chair. The Adult Chair. It's nothing to do with adult stuff. It's uh, everything about basically growing up. (laughs) And I've been realizing how, how much of a hard time I have saying what I want. I think it's just that simple. For example, there's a couple things work-related that I don't want to do. And I've known it for a long time, but I'm still kind of afraid to say it. Let's say, for example, at my previous church, there were so many things that I wanted to do or say or decisions that I wanted to make or opinions that I held and I was afraid to say them, to self-validate, to, I guess, to stand up for myself because of fear, because of, yeah, mostly fear of the repercussions of coming across as mad or as selfish or as all these negative things when really I'm just simply speaking my mind, I'm just giving my opinion, I'm just basically doing what I want to do (laughs) because when I end up doing the things that I don't want to do, well, okay, let me say it a better way, because when I do that, I don't do what I want to do which is where the joy and the blessing and all these other wonderful things are. So, this is a very silly example. A couple nights ago, I think there were some... What was there for for dinner? I don't know if it was... Oh yeah, it was chicken that was made. And I just don't like chicken that much. I like it done a certain way, blah, blah, blah. What I wanted was to get some tamales or some pupusas or just some sort of Mexican food, something that I like. And, of course, for me, ideally, I would always love to have some Nicaraguan food. Shout out to Nicaragua. But that's not that easy around here. So Mexican food is close enough. And so I looked up a couple of places. I went with my beautiful wife and we got some we got to this one place called La Esperanza. Shout out to La Esperanza here in Long Beach. And even though it took forever and it was super expensive, we came home, ate it, and it was delicious. And it just made me realize because I had that again tonight. And I actually didn't like it that much the second time because I just had it and anyway but I was so happy a couple nights ago because I said no to what I didn't want and I said yes to what I want and as a three who likes to lie and to deceive myself and to not speak my truth for fear of x y and z I often end up eating things that I don't like or working in things that I don't want to work in or going to things and appointments that I don't want to keep because I want to do something else. And that something else is where my joy lies and there's blessing there and there's fun and there is prosperity and love and grace and ministry and all the good things that we all want. So I was thinking about why I do this, and as I said, I have a few ideas, but it is a big problem because no matter how old I get or how many books or podcasts or therapists or whatever I see, I keep falling into the same trap 
of people pleasing, of not self validating. And I don't really even think that this is people pleasing. Yes, sure, but it's deeper than that. It's fear. And somehow it's, I'm sure it's related to trauma and childhood stuff. It's somehow believing that if I say what I believe, I'm going to make people mad at me. That really is what it comes down to. There's going to be some consequence, mostly anger, mostly hiring, I mean, firing me or frustration against me. Or people are going to think I'm being selfish or I'm mean, all these things horrible things that I tell myself where a normal person let's say an 8 in the Enneagram would just say I don't want to go get pizza I want canes and so there deal with it (laughs) and I love how 8s are that way and I am trying to just have enough 8 in me to be happy to get the tamales and the pupusas instead of the chicken that I don't like But I find myself here this week not, well, I've done it, as I said, but I keep not wanting to do it. And then I toss and turn and I'm afraid and because I think like 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 with this one job, it's not a job, but it's more of a gig opportunity. I think, well, what if I, I don't get any other offers? What if this? What if that? When really I know that that's not the case. I know that by following my heart or by following what my gut says, or my heart, or my mind, or whatever you want to call it, that that's where the success is. And I know that, intuitively, logically, etc. But this and that and the other, all the buts, right? And living in the butt is a terrible (laughs) way to live. (laughs) It really is. And I've done it I would say for at least the last 10 years, maybe longer. It's sad. And it hasn't been worth it at all. So I'm trying to live in the, in my honesty, in my self validating. And even though I know self validating means that, means something different than what I'm talking about. But it kind of works for me right now. It's to basically what I mean is I'm validating my thoughts and my feelings and my gut, no matter what people's reaction reactions may or may not be. In honesty, it is tough to say, I don't want what was made for dinner. I don't like that chicken because it does hurt feelings or it might make people feel upset or sad. But If I say that, then I can go and get what I want and have a brand new experience. And as in this case, my wife and I, we went and had a nice little mini date just going to this place and back. It was really, really fun. And so it's always better. We know this, right? To be honest with yourself and with others, mostly with ourselves. But easier said than done. So this is what I'm trying to learn how to speak my mind, regardless of the consequences. Yes, learn how to talk, learn how to speak, not offending people, not saying mean things, but learning my truth, getting out of the mess. Because that's the thing that, it, that, that, it ha- that happens, is when I don't live in my truth and I live in my lies or in my, yeah, my self-deception, or am I not valid? Well, anyway, I don't want to say... Okay, I want to stop there. I'm trying to be more concise when I speak. When I don't listen to myself, then it makes a mess. And now I have to then babysit the mess. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Now I have to... It's like lying, right? Because really that's what it is. It's lying. It's, it's the, 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 sin, the, the vice of the three is, is uh, vanity and deception. Is I want to be liked, I want to, I want to keep all my options open, and I end up lying to my to myself and to others, which then I have to manage the lies. And so that's what I find myself having to do with this one gig opportunity. Now I'm having to manage my lies or my saying, "Oh, sure," when really I want to say no. 
And so I'm 90% sure that I will say no, that I will speak my mind on the things that I am considering, even this week, even next week. And I know that there will be a blessing in that. So I hope that that helps. I hope that you can relate to that. Thank you for being here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at David Trigg, and I will see you next time.